I know you're big on this, man. The French Montana Young Thug Kendrick <laughs> Beef. Kind of clear this up for me, bro. French Montana goes on, he does an interview with Complex, and he basically says something to the fact that he has more hits. If he performed at a festival, he'd have that festival, quote unquote, correct me if I'm wrong, more lit than Kendrick Lamar. Is that correct? Yes. To my knowledge. How does Young Thug get involved in this? Honestly, I think that Young Thug and... Um, uh, see, he's not even that relevant. I forgot his name what? already. Uh, French Montana. There you go. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think that they had a good relationship in the beginning. And so he's hearing French, Mo French Montana talk, you know, big and saying he's got bigger numbers and this and that. Young Thug's coming out like, man, you ain't... Sh you know? And that's where the beef started from and now there's a debate beyond that saying you know well does french montana have hits i mean you know his numbers are good but he doesn't have hits he has features he's a feature artist so he can't talk about himself by himself oh i can do a festival you mean you and then all the 10 other people you've done features with it's not gonna work he he would be literally just doing hooks he he's would got, not be rapping he's got and again i this is not my specialty we all know this but i mean just off the head Pop that. He's got that track with Sway Lee, which I thought was mainly Sway. And then he's got uh, Ain't Worried About Nothing. Am I right? So three right there, right? Features. Right, right, right. But I'm saying, what other hits does he have? None. Off your head. He has no hits, but he has hits with features. Yeah, 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 yeah. He doesn't personally have any hits. Yeah, yeah, I All get that. All his songs are features. So, so what it should exclude him from any conversation about more than Kendrick. So what is considered a hit? Like, is that subjective or... This is the this is coming from the guy that doesn't know. What is a hit? Is that a song that's like top five Billboard? Is that a song that's on Billboard at all? Just a song that charts? What is a hit? Is it an anthem hit? Because French Montana does have. I mean, you go to a club, right? Pop that will definitely that'll always be a uh, quote unquote hit in the club. But Kendrick definitely has, uh, for lack of a better word, and correct me if I'm wrong, but it's I I would say more lasting music, music that means more right. here, means more here. You know what I mean? Right. Like it's not surface. Right. At all. French Montana is... And he's got more hits, I think, on the charts. Who? Kendrick. I think... I'm not saying that they're top five, but... Uh, I wrote it down somewhere, but off the head, I believe that Kendrick has more hits that charted on Billboard 100, on the Billboard 100 charts, than French. French just has those anthem hits that we remember that we rock with. But right. He, right? Right. Uh, yeah, I agree. I think that Kendrick Lamar, he has way more music, and they're lasting, so the hits probably, you know add up longer stay longer uh but at the end of the day french montana like those hits it's you know contributed from bigger artists than him who mm. all who have way more hits mm. probably than even kendrick lamar people like drake he's done at least two or three features yeah. with you know what i mean mm. so uh i don't even think he should be in the same conversation with kendrick lamar it, it's it's insulting to hip-hop yeah <laughs> but think. but he did say he did say listen i'm gonna stand up for myself and I kind of get that. He can't just like say, yeah, you're right. You know, I mean, no, I'm he not needs that. to be real. People need to be real with themselves. People need to be real. Yeah. yeah, you're right. You know, I have hits, they're features. And I know that if he framed it a different way, this wouldn't even be a big thing. But right. he's saying himself. Looking yeah. at French Montana's um, Wikipedia, his recent song, Unforgettable, featuring Sway Lee. That it's was his, a hit. It's, it's his first song as a lead artist to reach top 10 on the U.S. Billboard 100. Wait, what do you mean and a I lead know artist? Lee, as in he, it's just him. Well, no, he's got Sway Lee on the track. But I, as Sway in Lee, he's he the main, like... it's his song rather than what you're saying. He's a feature artist. Oh, he's okay. on someone else's song. This is his song with someone right. else on his that's song. That's why I don't. And that I... his, that's his first time on the Billboard. When you look at Kendrick. Dude, here's the deal. I, I've seen Kendrick. He can sell out. He can sell out. He sold out Oracle. Was it like, I think. He did two dates back to back, right? Without a problem. French is, I just think it's funny because French Montana is, French Montana ain't selling out nothing. French Montana ain't, he's not selling out a club with a couple, maybe a couple hundred people max. Am I right? A couple like, hundred? That might be a little insulting. Let's say a couple thousand. No. He's got fans. French Montana as a headliner? For a show, he can definitely pack in at least like a thousand th th people. Th this is what, Kendrick is the cake, French Montana is the icing. I mean, I don't even know if he's the icing. <laughs> but so that's what I'm saying. He's a crust, man. He's, that's what I'm saying. He's, he's a, spring, he's a I mean, sprinkle. He could be a sprinkle. I, I hear <laughs> the, the beady ones, the ones that no one likes, the ones that like they're really hurt hard your and teeth, crunchy. The ones that you know, what I mean, he's like the beady sprinkles. <laughs> the beady sprinkles. That'd be like, why 
are you here? Why are you in my... Oh, someone put the wrong sprinkles in my cupcake. That's him. <laughs> we'll let him know. <laughs> He's we'll let him know. He's a sprinkle. The bead sprinkles. He's like... Uh, I don't want to clown on him because obviously he's richer and more successful than all of us, but I clown. I would keep going. Uh, <laughs> People, you can still be. He's kind of. You like, can still be a clown and be rich. He's he's probably I don't know maybe like a step or two under Khaled. Yeah. Sure, but I think Khaled he you at least owns thing. up to like. Yeah, you can say the same curator. thing about Khaled. You can say, but Khaled ain't going out saying Kendrick Drake put me up with the I'll do festivals. Stop! You're yeah. capping. You're yeah. lying. Yeah. You're not being real with yourself, and that's why you get caught with your pants down. DJ Khaled, I'm pretty sure he's a more humble person. I think he's more liked in the industry, too, because he's more of a curator. He puts people together. He just throws DJ Khaled on there. Well, sure, it says his name on there as a, a single artist. He's a collaborator is what he is. He's he just co- brings the best of the best Collaborator, together. curator, yeah. peacemaker, and uniter. I think, and he would own up to that, too. He would he say would. that. He would. Yeah. He's real, he would be real about it. French Montana, he's delusional if he thinks mm. he's up there with Kendrick at all. I'm sure more. Or Young out. Thug. I'm going to keep it real. Mm.